Okay, all right, hey guys, yo, what's up? Hi, how are you doing? I haven't been here in a while. What am I, what am I talking about? What, what's going on today? I'm gonna share with you guys a little project that I had going. It was a project that I started, I haven't finished it, and I was holding on to the footage, but I wanted to get a, a video out more than I wanted to keep on, held on to this footage. So, this is like a behind the scenes kind of thing of me trying to put together a commercial. Yeah, that's basically what it is. If you're wondering why my hand looks like this, I just finished doing a bunch of sanding for a, uh, for a gift for somebody, for my mom actually. I mean, my face might be kind of messed up too, so that's all it is. All right, so that's what this video is. Enjoy it, yeah. Okay, so let me open up this window. I am going to do, I guess you could say it's a photo shoot. I don't know if it's a photo shoot. I know I need to start making more content to show what I can do to tell people what I can do. You know, that's what I'm finding a lot in this industry. You gotta have stuff to show in order to get work. So, I've been wanting to make uh, like little commercials for myself, little, uh, little commercials just showing you, just showing what I can do little commercials of products that I use. So, one of the products that I use is, is this these clean canteen bottles. They're very nice. This one's actually insulated and it can easily keep your stuff insulated. It says 90 hours. I put ice in this like on a Friday once and on Sunday it was still cold. The water was still cold. So, it, these things definitely work. So, I'm going to make a little commercial for clean canteen containers. So, yes, I have, I, I have, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a, make a video, what's my gonna say? Make a video for clean canteen containers, insulation, whatever it is, and I think that's, I think that's it for that. So, what I, why I wanted to turn on the camera, because I started this and it just kept on snowballing into more and more stuff. So, let me turn this on so you guys can see something. All right, so this is where we are right now, pretty basic. We have a t-shirt right there because, you know, Fake it till you make it. Black t-shirt. This is a piece of fabric that I got from uh, Joanne Fabrics. And these little guys, I'll explain what these are in just a second. And then I'm gonna spray it with some water to give it some more texture. It's elevated a little bit with a cap, with a water, with a, some kind of a black cap from a bottle that my mom had laying around, so I'm using that. So, I was gonna use real ice because this is a small insulated container. So I was gonna use some real ice for this, but real ice melts. So I realized, or I remembered, that I had gotten my dad some, call them crystals. I used to work for a landscape construction company and we put these little crystals, oh, here they are. We put these little crystals in the soil to retain moisture. If it was gonna be a, a dry place, it would soak up moisture. So those ice are those those little dots, those little ice looking things are these just swollen up and then I got a whole nother container in here. This is way too much. I didn't realize how big they can get. So this is this probably like maybe a tablespoon of those crystals and it filled up this thing pretty pretty well. Yeah, so I'm gonna use these for texture and to like emulate ice. So we're gonna add that. I have some stones and maybe I'll throw in some bark. I don't know, but that's what we're gonna do. We're, I'm just gonna add the ice, put the photos in the video and see where we go from there. Oh no, that's not where we're gonna go. I brought up this thing, this thing right here. I had made this jib. I don't know if you guys wanna see that. Maybe I can upload that to this channel, but I made this jib. It's like a $30 jib that I made to uh, hold my 6D and 5D. It's a little sketchy for the 5D, just because the 5D is more expensive than the 6D, 60D. So either way, so I have this little jib that I can mount to my tripod and I'm gonna put the light on this because during my test shooting, insert those photos here, Evan. I saw that a top light would be kinda cool, kinda cool to mess with. So I'm gonna hook this up, put the light on that and we'll see how that goes. Uh, sorry, mom, if you watch this, this is the best I can do. You are recording, aren't you? Like I said, this 
setup is really for a camera. Having it be for this might be a teeny bit overkill. The only problem is, Evan. Oh, I also had that window down. Okay, usually I like to keep my, my shooting areas open so I can freely move around, but sometimes you can't do that. And I said this is a photo, but this is really going to be a video. I'm doing, these are all test photos, so probably be on my Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to set up some more, I said texture points, but like some more of this gel crystal stuff. Spray it with some water and see where we get from there. Where we are after that. So I don't know, I would say maybe out um, 45 minutes later, 50 minutes later, this is what we've got so far. It's all about what the camera can see, all right? Just trying to save myself some work by not putting stuff there because the camera can't see that. Um, so yeah, we put some more of the, gel, of the jelly stuff here and around the other side because I thought it'd look better if it looked like it was like, it was surrounded by ice instead of just having some ice around it. Um, so yeah, then we got a little, got a little uh, reflector here that I just taped to a box. And then we got the light right there, and then we got that light. And so yeah, insert the photos here. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys next week. We'll see, we'll see. I need to get back on this YouTube grind because I do enjoy making these videos and I miss not making them. I wanna see you next week. Let's see if we see if you see me next week, all right? Thank you for watching. I don't have an outro.